as of yet unconfirmed, that a plane has hit uh, the World Trade Center. It's hard for anyone to forget where they were when the nation changed forever. City. Right. Oh my God! Another plane has just hit. It hit another building. These images are indelibly imprinted in the national memory. Right in the middle of the building. People in the building. Oh, another one just hit. In the 12 years since the horrors of that day, these elementary schoolers haven't known a pre-9/11 world. There were two important places that were bombed. There was the Twin Towers and the Pentagon. And one crashed into a field. Well, it was very tragic, and people, a lot of people were sad about it. I know that a lot of people passed away, and um, it was a really sad moment for all of America. Yet, these young students are bearing a big portion of the repercussions of the 9-11 attacks. They're military children. Their parents are serving in the U.S. Navy during the global war on terror. There's a lot of people with parents that are in the military and they, uh, they use their lives to s keep terrorists away. It makes me really proud that my dad is in the military and I'm really happy that he found a part in the military. 9.03 and 2 seconds a.m. Flight 175 the fleet activity Sasebo community came together to remember. Into the south base of the south tower of the World Trade Center. You know, this was a national day. Uh, this is a tragedy. You know, this is an attack on, on American soil. Um, a lot of lives were needlessly lost. And, uh, but even still, these, these individuals, every last one of them, um, you know, deserve the same remembrance as, as any one of our are fallen soldiers in combat. And for the first generation of Americans born after 9-11, remembrance is a legacy they plan to carry on forever. Please help us take these lessons from 9-11. I'm Petty Officer Scott Bork, Fleet Activities, Sasebo, Japan. Throughout this day and throughout this week.